those mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river whose streams shall make God Make glad the city of God. Yeah, really glad. Really? Glad. And make God glad, too, probably. Yeah. I know. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Howdy. God Thing TV. This is episode three of season two, uh, Intimacy with God. Yeah. Pastor Bob actually brought out his Bible today. Because I am a Bible thumper. <laughs> Or a Bible thumper. Right. Or... We were trying to figure out why is it Bible thumper. Yeah, what's that all about? Yeah. So, but Brooke gave me some good ideas, like lead lining my Bible so that the thumping was effective. Right. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, we're talking about intimacy with God, yes? Yes, yes we are. And I brought out my Bible just so that I could have Brooke read a couple of scriptures that we kind of want to, like, talk about today a little bit. Yeah. Do you, you want know, me to start you know, by reading them? I don't know. Can you? Yes. Can you read it with feeling? I'll read it with feeling. Yes. And drama. Drama. All right, so we are in Psalm 46. 46. Yep, so get your Bibles out, get your yeah. phones out. Some. All right, here we go. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Not at all. Even though the earth be removed. That would be kind of scary. And uh -huh. though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, Though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river whose streams shall make God, make glad yeah. the city of God. Yeah, really glad. Really? I'm and glad. make God glad, too, probably. Yeah. I know. <laughs> the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. That's him. That's great. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. Can we talk about that before we go to other scriptures? Yeah, absolutely. So it's really good because um, a lot of times in life, our earth, our world, our life is moved. It's, yeah. You know, it's like God is a refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. And though everything shake around us. So we're talking about intimacy with God. And when the Lord started speaking in my heart about these scriptures earlier, um, here we have the psalmist talking like, God is a refuge and strength. Mm -hmm. like, uh, so there's like kind of the prayer thing that we're used uh -huh. to, like, God, you're my refuge and strength. Right. Mm -hmm. Nobody can move you. You're great. And that's great. Right. And then it shifts mm -hmm. to this intimacy. Right. There's a river. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's the river of God. And it makes glad. Like there's a great part of the river of God. And something the Lord showed me a long time ago is that river actually mm. flows out from his throne. Mm. And by the way, this river thing, it, well, we'll talk a little bit about your name, but this river thing is actually something that occurs from the very beginning of the Bible, in yeah. Genesis 2, uh -huh. all the way to re actually Revelation okay. 22, the yeah. end of it, there's this river. Yeah. And flowing from this river um, is, well, it's actually God. Yeah, and he's yeah. like... Spirit, and his, his spirit, love. his presence, his yeah. love, him, the essence of God yeah. himself, and us. Oh, we went crazy there on that. But anyway, we're talking about um, intimacy with God. Yeah. And a lot of people relegate, like I said in the past, intimacy with God with like doing a specific kind of prayer thing, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, and uh, these powerful prayers, which are great, right? right. I mean, yeah, you can it's not see, like we're saying this is bad. No, no, no. You can see mountains moved and great yeah. stuff happen. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You've seen it in your life, right? Yeah. And so... My life. Yeah, yeah <laughs> my life. <laughs> so, but yet, there's also, also this intimate place with God mm -hmm. where there's this river that we flow in and, check this out, it flows from us. Hey, tell me about your name. So, <laughs> I, I call myself Brook of Living Water. Yes. <laughs> but when I first came to the Lord, you know, there's a little bit more uh -huh. to this story. So, when I first came to the Lord, on my social medias and stuff, I knew that I needed to, you know, just change everything. Yeah. So, I changed my name, my username, to Brook of Living Water because I thought, you know, it's a funny play yeah. on my name. But, and also, before I came to the Lord, I actually hated my name, Brooke. I hated it. Wow. Yeah, and I was trying to get people to just like call me by my last name or whatever. Really? But, yeah. And I didn't like my name, but then I came to the Lord and I found a new love for my name huh. by calling it Brook of Living Water. 
wow. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty special testimony, actually, in some I, I think so. Yeah. You fell in love with Jesus and fell in love with the name that God gave you. Exactly. Yeah. And wow. so... Um, That's great. And then later, it was prophesied over me by a gentleman at our church that doesn't... That's not on social media or anything like that. And yeah. he, he prophesied over me that that I am a brook of living water. <laughs> that is hilarious. And so, uh, you know, it, it made it gave me comfort that I just wasn't like calling myself this. Right. But right. in any case, I'm brook of living water and Jesus is the living water and yeah. I am his daughter. So I am brook of living water. Yes. And a lot of people, you know, have a hard time. Like they, they understand that God, he is a river Mm -hmm. that you know and the river of god it flows from him Mm -hmm. but one of the things that we forget is that we're also part of that river and intimacy with god and i'm going to jump ahead here but we're going to read some more scriptures possibly too so get your keep your bibles there we're going to continue to thump okay but um what people forget about intimacy with god is intimacy with God is not just a private thing between you and God. Right. They, this is the weird part. Like, mm-hmm. And this is where like New Age and people like this, they, they kind of um, co-op it. Yeah. You know, it's like, I am the great and unknown one. <laughs> no one could ever un- know me. And I have this time with God that no one else is allowed into. And I'm the great one. You know, right. you know what I'm saying? That yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the deal is with God, intimacy with God. He requires that you bring that intimacy out into the open. Yeah. Show it like a flow of like a river that flows well, out. And your yeah. intimacy with him, it will always show. Like if you have a relationship with the yeah. Lord, it's going to be obvious. Yes. It's not some weird hidden thing. And and so we relegate intimacy from a natural point of view of intimacy is a you know private kind of private thing. Uh-huh. Which it, I get that it is. But intimacy with God, he wants it to flow out because he shares. Matter of fact, it's interesting. There's this, you know, the scripture, is, it says, I will not share my glory with another, mm-hmm. you know? And I love uh, uh, Heidi Baker. She has, a, she preached many years ago and she says, uh, but we're not another. Right. And we're not another. We're, we're of him. We're of him. Mm-hmm. So he, of course he's going to share his glory of with course. us. This is like, okay, we're bringing the deep end of the swimming pool or the river, whatever one you want. Yeah. yeah. Throw the water on you. <laughs> but <laughs> So the deal here is we're not another. And he definitely wants to share his glory with us. And that's where we find it. We find it like like with intimacy with mm-hmm. him. Like in those in that secret place with him, but yet he wants that to come out mm-hmm. and be prevalent and prevail mm-hmm. all over the earth, because the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Right, right. It will cover the yeah. earth. Yeah, you know what you I'm know saying. What Are it, we preaching? I don't know. I, I like hope it. not. Okay. But you know <laughs> what you're making me think of is of this our intimate time being shared. Um, so Grace at church, uh-huh. a girl named Grace, yeah. uh, sometimes we one of my friends, yeah, yeah. at church on Sunday, she's a singer and a songwriter, but she was in an intimate time with the Lord, yeah. and he gave her a song, and she sang it, and she shared it with all of us, and that's sharing his glory. Absolutely. You know? We need to have Grace on here. Yeah, Grace is great. Let's throw her under the uh, bus. I would you know, love to. Those people out there, <laughs> they need Grace, just like you and I need Grace. Right. <laughs> you know, so we, I mean, our, we need Grace our and friend, Grace. Our Grace, she's a pretty she's spectacular. She's a sweetheart, yeah. She's yeah. a special person, mm-hmm. prophetess of God. And, I know. Yeah, crazy. And just a beautiful singer. Like, oh, yeah. You don't have to be a Christian to understand that this girl is very, very yeah. talented. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's weird, like we're sharing with people like weird stuff from things they don't even know about. Like, But they're going to. They're going to. Just but come to our church. You'll see it. It's like yes. spectacular how come it happens. Our church. Oh, yeah, it I'd is love great. love to meet you guys. Yeah, really, because I can't see you now. Right. Wait a minute. I see you. <laughs> so, I, you know, where are we going with this? So, um, yeah. intimacy with God. So, this intimacy. It flows from him to us so we can flow to others. To others. And we're supposed to be part of of that intimacy that's revealed to others because that's why people come to Jesus. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't come just because they heard a nice story. No. Right? No. They come because Somebody they Somebody made it real for Right. Them. They see yeah, people. They exactly. like like I see Brooke. Like if I was like unsaved, mm-hmm. okay, and I saw Brooke and I knew and I know her life, I'd be like, dang, something like really changed. She, yeah. 
did. It really did. Like, I'm like, and it changed really great and good. Yeah. And I'd be like, huh. So that's like a real manifestation of an intimate place with God, like yeah. actually coming into him. Should we yeah. read more scriptures? Yeah, let's read it. You want to read Psalms 1 to us? I mean, she's good at Whoa, right. you flipped right to it. That's pretty good. She's good. She's a right. Bible thumper. So now we're in Psalms 1. Uh, just yeah. until verse 5, correct? Or 3 or something. Yeah, let's oh, do three. First three. Okay. yeah, let's do those three. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, right. nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Well, there's a lot there. No, huh? no. Jeez. But his delight <laughs> is in the law of the Lord. Yeah. And in his law, he meditates day and night. Yeah. He shall be like a tree. Planted yes. by the rivers of water yes. that brings forth Trees. its fruit <laughs> in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. It'll That's prosper, what yeah. A great promise. So he, and he's planted by the river. Oh, so this river. And what do trees do? They they suck up the water, and, and then they grow yeah. fruit for people to nom nom nom. Yes, and they're shade from the mm -hmm. yeah. So the deal is. They're planted by this water, yeah? Mm -hmm. And that water is the water of God. It is the water that proceeds. Like I said earlier, it come, you know, you can read about it in Genesis. You can mm -hmm. read about it all the way through the prophets, all the way to the end of the Bible. And you'll see that there's this river that flows from God, from his presence, from his throne, actually, which yeah. is really crazy. But um, I just imagine the river coming from his hands, and he's just like, whoosh. I love it. <laughs> You've been watching too many of those weird movies. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, but the deal is this is that we are actually part of that river too. So when you see a person planted by the, you know, as a tree planted by the river, they're actually planted by people of church. Uh oh. Church people. Church the Bible people, thumpers. Bible thumpers. <laughs> they're actually planted with people. So that's why I'm saying this intimacy with God must be expressed and manifested out into the world into people, into church, into everything yeah. about us, or else it's just like a weird story. Or it's like that um, new age thing that we talked about. It's like this little hidden secret yeah. mystic thing that right. nobody can achieve. It's and like you have really to be, like awakened. Yeah. You know, so, so much yeah. of the new age tries to mimic God. Awakening yes. in the new age. Yeah. Rebirth. Born yes. again. Yes. In the, in the There's Lord. always a counterfeit. Yeah. There's always a counterfeit. And here, and the deal is, God says, let me reveal my truth to you. Let me just give it to you. Let me reveal it to you in the person of Jesus exactly. Christ himself. Not exactly. just, so he didn't hide him. It wasn't right. some like secret and thing. And it's not ever changing. Right. As is the truths of the new age. Yeah, new age and the world. Just world think, right? Why This is why we do God thing. Yes. <laughs> so, so um, anyway, we went here on this little trip uh, about rivers, um, basically to share our hearts with you yeah. that um, it's really good for you to be planted by the river of God. And don't relegate intimacy with God um, as just planted by a river all alone with him. Yeah. You know, and there is, there's quiet well, places with God. Look at it, it yeah. says in uh, verse 2 of She's Psalms Bible, 1. Bible scholar. Uh, it says, His delight is in the law of the Lord. Yes. And in His law, He meditates day and night. And I think a lot of people come mm -hmm. to things like this law in, uh -oh. re in the Christianity, law. and they're like, This is religious. Or there's all these rules. You're just trying yeah. to, like, throw rules at me. You're trying to throw right, your Bible right. at me. But it says that His delight is in the law of the lord okay well what's some of the basics of the law of the lord the great things um uh, something simple like don't kill people huh honor your mother and your father you know the ten commandments it says mm -hmm. love the lord your god with all your heart oh that sounds really but then that's really binding but get this <laughs> love and your neighbor as yourself as you love yourself yeah. so there you are doing many things and just that one commandment yeah. alone uh, is to love God. Okay, great. And then love yourself, actually. Yeah. Then love your neighbor. So if you're not treating yourself good, then you're not going right. to be able to treat... So anyway, so that's that's like an example of the law of the Lord. And then in the second half of the scripture, it says, and in his law, he meditates day and night. He's there. Yeah. Yeah. He's thinking about it. He's living his life. He's... this meditate. It's kind of like, in my mind, you're planting your, your brain right. on this topic. 
Right. Because you are a tree, you know? Yeah. And then, I don't know. I just, it's a great thing. Yeah. You know, a lot of people take the law and they relegate it to this weird, you know, binding religious thing. Mm -hmm. And in reality, Jesus Christ himself, right? He's described, you know, okay, the law of the spirit of life mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus, the Bible tells us, has made us free from the law of sin and death. So God has these great laws. And uh, they really are laws of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Yeah. And he wants to lead us into those places because like we said in an earlier filming, um, intimacy with God comes out in actual obedience to God. So you have to know what to be obedient to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you have these laws with God. They're not all bad. People put a weird connotation on laws, yeah. but you know, God wants to draw you into a place of greatness. And he doesn't you know? want you to do it without knowing about it. Because it says he meditates day and right. night on this law. Mm -hmm. So God's not going to, no, you just, you have to do it. You just have to do it. Yeah. You have to do it because I say. He wants you to meditate on it, put your right. heart into it. So that yes. you're doing it from a, a good positioning of your heart. And you're not just doing it because right. it's a law. Absolutely. So you want to be wooed into that intimacy with God, mm -hmm. wooed into a place with him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whatever he decides to call it, laws, love. And you know, <laughs> you know what's kind you of interesting? Saying? And this might be a little too like uh -oh. metaphysical or something, but water seems to have this drawing effect yeah. on animals yeah. and people. We flee to oceans and rivers. Right. We want to swim. Right. We want to be by water. Animals, you know, they pretty much, like wild animals, not yeah. domestic animals, live as according to where there's water. Right. No water, you die. Exactly. You can, you can get a bye with, a, with very little food, but mm -hmm. not very little water, exactly. not for very long. Right. And so God, like you were saying earlier, and we were reading out of Psalms 1, he draws us in that place that he wants us to meditate on and meditate is not just you know right. it's actually spending time with him yeah like really close time with him and then bringing out of that time mm -hmm. to people around us yeah. what that looks like yeah. bringing god out to people yeah. being that brook of living waters that right. flows out so that out of your innermost being will flow rivers of living waters and, and all yeah. i'm hearing right now is that song God, God, river, river, river. Yeah. Well, she can sing. I can't. I can't. Uh, well, what do you think? Wrap her up. See where we go with this. Yeah. Put a bow on it. I don't yeah. Know. So it's where you take your Bible and you are now prepared to thump. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway, you elder guys. abuse. <laughs> guys for watching this episode this yeah. has been a great topic uh re dive into the psalms yourselves yeah. the psalms are great They're yeah they're great yeah and if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up because we've kept our sword here for you guys oh where it's is back it? where there. is it oh wait There's it's back the there oh wait a minute let me grab it thumbs up for the sword thumbs up for the sword of spirit <laughs> so wait what is it sword of the spirit yeah 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 so anyway Subscribe if you haven't already as well. Click the bell notification so you get a notification every time we post a video. And go on over and watch season one if you haven't. There's a playlist on our YouTube channel and that'll be up here somewhere right here for you guys to click. Wow. Yeah, I know. Yeah, high tech, right? And Mama mia. follow us on Instagram. There's all sorts of links and stuff yeah. down in the description yeah. box below. But most importantly, there is a prayer request form. Absolutely. And we do look at it, we open it, and, and we, we will pray, pray about it. Absolutely. Yeah. We have prayer teams here. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And they totally work. I have been a witness. Right. Yeah. It's great. It's fantastic. Yeah. Don't let us come out there with our sword after you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't let us come get you. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Later, Gator.